and some uh, manifestations against the government here because of the elections. And apparently they've um, thrown some gas bombs and stuff and we can smell them. It's starting to burn our eyes a little bit and stuff. And not far from here. First thing we had to do was to get to the police to check in. It's very easy, but you must be patient as they love to chat. They remember me from my previous visits and always ask why I don't get myself a Senegalese wife. We were listening to the football match between Cabo Verde and Mauritania. Cabo Verde had just scored and would move on to the quarterfinals against South Africa in the Africa Cup. Big deal for such a tiny country. Back on a boat, I had things to do. Well, we're back from our little tour of uh, Dakar, my friend Gianni. Now we're back on the boat, had to get some things done, like a video. This one took a little longer and I was late and I had problems with my batteries. I tried to work at night, batteries gave out, I had to start the engine, couldn't do any real good sound stuff because of the engine. Ugh. Anyways, that's almost done, it's processing now and same time, I'm dealing with the fuel diesel in the water tank. I think it's gonna work out okay because there's a hatch there that I'm trying to get open. Okay, there it is. The trap is open. Uh, it looks at least pretty well separated. Hasn't been shaking around too much. Hopefully it'll be easy to pump it out from here and then clean all that up. Get in there and scour the uh, tank, which would be good. Never done that before. This is just the beginning. Anyways, I gotta get back to the video. I gotta compress it to upload it onto YouTube. It's a big file. And then I gotta make a thumbnail. Jenny had gone to the city to do some shopping. I'd brought down my main sail for some work with the sailmaker, Diego. Then Gianni had brought back a Senegalese specialty to cook up. Gianni's making gambas soup. Sopa de gambas. Sopa de gambas. Camarones. Giant tiger prawn shrimps from uh, Casamance, Senegal. Later, we started emptying the tank with a siphoning hose. We had gotten most of the diesel out using these bottles to make sure the diesel was separated from the water. Well, you leave it here or you leave it like that? No, you leave it like that. You put the paper on it. Our ange gardien de Galopin, Arona, is here. Our guardian angel for Galopin, Arona, is here. We have to empty this tank. Bonjour! <laughs> He had come with a pump we hooked up so we could get the water out, which was a little mixed with diesel, but very little, which we diluted with dish soap. Guys brought us the water. We flushed out the tanks with water and used that water to rinse out the stiff salted lines and sheets. Look at this. Stiff. Stiff, stiff, stiff is stiff. Meanwhile, Arona took away the engine water pump to rebuild it and brought it back later. Voilà, là, tu avais des des boulons en en cuve comme ça, mais des fois quand ça reste longtemps, quand tu dévis, ça casse. Les têtes, ils se cassent. Donc du coup, on les a remplacés avec des boulons que si tu as tourné le tu peux desserrer. Ah oui, 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 ok. Tu peux desserrer. Donc la pièce que tu m'avais donnée aussi, elle était. En fait, on l'a remplacée parce qu'il y avait le filetage qui est. Ah ouais, ouais, ouais. Donc du coup, j'ai mis un boulon plus grand. Ah oui, ok, c'est ça, ok. J'ai refilté la plaque. Ok. Et donc, en fait, j'ai changé le. Ouais. Et le boulon, si tu veux, comme il y a une, il y a une entourtoise que ça doit descendre, uh -huh. donc j'ai dû moller la tête de la vis pour que, ah, ça, pour qu rentre, pour ouais. que ça rentre. Et là, on a changé aussi l'axe. Tu en as trouvé une ouais, Non, j'avais une. Tu en avais une 
<rire> J'ai changé l'axe de la pompe. Ça, je la vois encore 25 ans. Bon, enfin, euh, il est un peu, j'ai moi très peu. Là, il y a les joints. Il est bien cet axe. Il y a les bon, joints. Ça fait ouais. rien. Il y a les joints qu'on ouais. a remplacé les deux joints. Ouais, ouais. Et ça, je te le donne d'avance. Ouais. Parce que c'est des pièces qui, qui s'usent. Quand ça casse, pour le trouver, c'est difficile. Il faut commander. Okay. Ah, tu la mets là. Oui, je, ça je, va là, ok, voilà, ok. Il y en a une et là, j'étais une, une, une de rap. Parce ouais. que si ça casse. Euh, la pomme ne fonctionne plus, donc c'est une pièce qui est importante. Okay. Donc j'ai tant mis, mis une d'avance. Une d'avance change, ok, ouais, merci à voilà. Ok. He reinstalled it pretty quickly, and here I must point out something. The video quality is not what it used to be. Just before leaving Dakar, I fell in the water with my good phone. I shot great video when I was getting into my dinghy. I was super bummed. So, I had to quickly get a cheap new one. But the best thing here is that Simone the engine was happily purring again. That night we went to see the football match, a great one. Unfortunately, Cabo Verde lost to South Africa. It was a beautiful morning that day. My parents had just sent me a message that there were riots in the city and asked how we were. I sent them this view to show them how we were exactly. We had sealed the water tank to go off into the city. We were unaware of any unrest. All was calm here. We were to meet Arona, who would go into the city with us to assist me to buy these batteries. So this is the passageway to civilization, to the city. Hello, Rafael. What's up? Yeah, good. I think there's a giant behind me. There's a giant behind me. I went to check on my cell with Diego. They had washed it clean and Diego would patch it up some more. It's an old sale, I know, but according to him, it's still a great one. Then there was my dinghy. I had done a real crap job back in Mindelo, but here is Robert, the dinghy specialist. Obviously, he will do a proper job. Sometimes you just gotta let go. The city was unusually quiet. There was little traffic. The police were out in force due to the unrest near the parliament buildings. <laughs> All seemed calm where we were going except for... Ah. The guy didn't like me filming. I apologized and we were good. We're here buying some uh, new batteries. Alex, là, il faut que tu te dépêches parce que ça chauffe derrière là. Il y a les gens qui sont en train de manifester, on jette les lacrymogènes partout. Il y a mon ami Yannick qui s'étouffe là à cause de la fumée là. Il y a des manifestations contre le gouvernement ici parce qu'il y a des élections. Et apparemment, ils ont mis des bombes de gaz et tout ça. Et nous pouvons les sentir, ils ont commencé à se brûler nos yeux un peu et tout ça. C'est pas loin de ici. Comment tu t'appelles 
Mam Gorgiai. Mam Gorgiai. Mam Gorgiai. Mam Gorgiai. Vendeur d'électricité. Très bon vendeur d'électricité. Very good electrical product seller. He's selling me some great batteries. Quand vous venez à Dakar, avec solaire. Avec solaire. Exactement. Tous les matériaux de solaire. Ok. Merci. Merci à toi. Escaped the tear gas. We got the batteries. I still owe 300,000 sefa. Could only take 300 out of the bank and couldn't pay with a prepaid car credit card. He didn't have the machine, so got to find a way to get 300,000 sefa. That's about 500 bucks. And uh, got a whole new set of deep cycle gel batteries. And uh, there's no traffic today pretty much because of all these anti-government uh, demonstrations. Bah, une chose est bien, il n'y a pas beaucoup de circulation. Ouais, mais il y, y a une raison à tout. Hein. Regarde, ouais. tous les boutiques sont fermés. Je Regarde. sais, c'est bizarre. Tout ça, c'est fermé. Ouais. Tout ça, c'est des Libanais. Tout le monde est fermé. Là. Oui, ça... Un petit Libanais, il faut le confondre avec un Français. Il faut mieux ah, ouais. toi. <rire> La teinte claire, actuellement, il est recherché. Hein. Ils vont vandaliser leur boutique en pensant que c'est des Français. <rire> Rona had asked me if I wanted to shop some more. I said, let's get the hell out and install the batteries. But before that? J'ai dit, ce plat-là, il est célèbre. Parce que non seulement c'est un très bon plat, en plus, il est célèbre à cause de la danse Borahé Borahé. La danse Borahé Borahé Borahé. Ils sont plus lourds. Quelle chance, Carona est ici. Those batteries weigh like about 60 kilos each. It's almost 100 pounds. Because of the unrest, the government shut down the internet on mobile phones, afraid of people planning to riot. It really sucked. But landlines worked, so we could go to the club bar where there was Wi-Fi. Fishermen are out, man. We have to dodge a few nets, I think, on the way out. Just threw a pack of cigarettes to some passion fishermen. So, we'll follow them and see. <laughs> it's tricky out here, man. These guys are crazy. They come out here to fish. I hate them and love them at the same time. I hate them because they put their nets and get in my way, but I love them for their courage and their... <laughs> Fucking balls, man. Those guys got balls <laughs> to be out here. And the kid's driving that one boat. Incredible. Hey, thanks for watching. These are our studios on Gadapon. You know, it's the good people on Patreon who are making this happen and keeping us afloat. Hope you'll join our community. We've got a lot of cool extra perks, like live updates, news, photos, videos that I've taken. And I've even taken a stab at writing some short stories, which are not for general audiences on YouTube. Plus, our friend and patron, Graham, started a WhatsApp chat aptly called Galapan's Cockpit. There we can talk about just about anything we want, uncensored. People from all over have joined. And it's this community that's contributing to this living adventure series. Woo, it's kind of windy here. Or you can watch for free on YouTube, but make sure you put a like or dislike, or make a comment, and make your voice heard, and definitely subscribe. So thanks for coming along and sailing with us on our winded voyage.